Hey, welcome everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Listen, if you're tuning in today, I've got something exciting for you. I wanted to share this with you a while back, but for whatever reason, I just slipped my mind. Listen, if you're trying to get leads and sales and prospects and start a dialogue with shippers and you're a freight broker, okay? So if you're a freight broker, freight agent, you're trying to get leads, you're trying to get sales using LinkedIn, I've got some, I got something I got to share with you. I got to get it off my chest, okay? It's been bothering me for a while. I see a lot of freight brokers making a huge mistake on LinkedIn. It's the reason why they're not getting more leads and sales on the platform. So I'm going to share with you that mistake today, all right? So the title is the big LinkedIn mistake that I see nine out of 10 freight brokers making, okay? So that's what we're going to go over today. Uh, that's what we're going to cover. So, all right, so I got good news and bad news. Good news is that's the training. Uh, also good news, I'm going to do a giveaway. Also good news, I have a special announcement. The bad news is I'm not doing live Q&A today. All right. I have another, I have a previous engagement. I've got to get out of here relatively quick. So I'm not going to do Q&A today. I do Q&A virtually every week. So hopefully um, you guys can either message me or comment below. Maybe I'll try to come back in uh, later in the week or in the last next couple of days and try to answer your questions. But while we're waiting for some people to get live, hit me up in the comments. Let me know that you are, um, let me know where you're logging in from. I'm in the Buffalo, New York area. I'll try to give you some shout outs. What do we got here? Uh, bu -bu -bu. We got somebody that's bombing the comments here. Cynthia Moore, welcome from Maryland. We've got Jessica, welcome. We got Karina, welcome. We got Michelle from Topeka, Kansas. We've got uh, Yara from Houston, Texas. Millie from Huntsville, Alabama. We have uh, Miss Patrice White from Chicago. Maria McCarthy from Gillette, Wisconsin. Connor from Armenia. Love it, Connor. Awesome. We've got XB Ventures from Cleveland, Ohio. We have Noah Edmonds from Fort Bragg, North Carolina. John Heller from Johnstown, PA. We got Gloria from Castleberry, Florida. We've got uh, Emilio from Chicago, Illinois. Michael Blocker from Atlanta, Georgia. Vernetta from Vernetta Rodriguez from New Jersey. Mark Meese from Pittsfield, Maine. We got people from all over the place. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm humbled that you're able to take time, willing to take time out of your busy schedule in the middle, middle of the day to do these lives. Again, I do these freight broker lives every single week. And if you're new, and this is the first time you've ever seen one of the lives, no matter where you're watching it, on LinkedIn or YouTube or Facebook, wherever you're at, quick intro. My name is Dennis Brown. I've been an entrepreneur for over 25 years, built four multi-million dollar companies in four different industries, started a freight brokerage, brokerage back in 2003, grew that, did over $200 million as a freight broker, sold that company, but I'm also the owner of freight broker, <laughs> freightbrokerbootcamp.com which is well known to be the most cost-effective and comprehensive online freight broker and freight agent training program online. You can check that out at freightbrokerbootcamp.com. So I think my lips are moving faster than my brain or my brain is moving faster than my lips. I'm not sure which one it is today. I probably had a little bit too much caffeine. So guys, that's what we're going to go over today. Thank you everybody for joining me. Michael from Orlando, Goldie from Fresno, California, uh, Karina from Barrington, Illinois. Thank you so much, everybody. Again, today we're going to talk about a big mistake, a big LinkedIn mistake that I see nine out of 10 freight brokers making. And if you're looking to get leads and sales using LinkedIn, which I know a lot of you are, um, you got to quit making this mistake. You've got to make some adjustments. You've got to pivot. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. We're going to dive into that in about a minute. We're going to let a few more people get live and then we're going to get the ball rolling. Kind of have a small group today, which is okay. A lot of people will catch us on replay. I got a lot of notes to go over. So we're going to, again, the agenda. We're going to do the training. We're going to do a free giveaway, maybe a Freightpreneur t-shirt, someone who solves problems you don't know you have in ways you can't understand. And then we're also going to do a special announcement at the end. Stick around to the end. Some of you are definitely not going to want to miss this. I think some of you have been waiting for this for quite a while and um, you may be interested. So I'm going to give you the inside scoop of what I've been doing behind the scenes, even though I resisted it for a very long time. So, all right, let me gather my thoughts. And oh, by the way, do you like the new decorations? It's not permanent there, but I did set it up 
I thought this light was kind of cool. Um, so I ordered it. I'm not sure if it's a keeper or if I'm going to wear, I'm going to keep it, but I thought it was kind of interesting. I saw it and it's one of those neon lights. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I may move it up. I may move it over. I may make it small. I don't know, but I thought it was kind of cool, uh, for a backdrop on these lives in particular. So that's new to the scene. That's not the big announcement, but I will share that with you, um, at the end of this live. Okay. But unfortunately we are not going to do Q and a but at the end, if you put your if you put your questions in after I'm done with all this, I'm I will try to come back in, in the next couple of days and answer any questions that I can't. Worst case scenario, come back next week. We will do. Uh, I typically do a live Q and A as a part of every one of these lives. Okay. All right. So today, I want to share with you a big LinkedIn mistake that I see nine out of ten freight brokers making when trying to use LinkedIn to get leads and sales for their freight brokerage or their freight agency business. If that's interesting to you, lean in, pay close attention. This is going to be a quick training, but you have to pay close attention because this is not something that comes intuitively to everybody. So let me describe the mistake. All right. Here's an example of a mistake that I see. Brokers and agents. All right are posting content, right? Images, microblogs, videos, articles. They're posting content that is relevant to brokers, right? And carriers and drivers and salespeople and entrepreneurs, but it's not necessarily relevant to your target market or your freight niche. Now, let me explain that to you. The correct content marketing strategy to generate leads and sales for your business is to create and post highly relevant content as it relates to your potential target market. So for example, if you are if your niche is the steel industry or the produce industry or, you know, you do drayage, so it's import export or any of the number of different niches out there, oil and gas or heavy haul or oversized equipment, whatever your niche is, what you need to do is you need to post content that is highly relevant to the buyers of that service. Okay, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to find, right, connect and engage with those prospects and start a dialogue through LinkedIn that you can then convert offline. That's social selling. That's how we use social media to generate leads and sales. All right. So if you're using content marketing and you're posting things that are highly relevant to freight brokers and to freight agents, and to carriers, and to salespeople from other industries, or entrepreneurs in general. I'm not saying that that's not a good thing, but what I'm saying to you, you can post any content you want, but what I am saying to you is you are not going to generate a whole lot of leads, at least not qualified leads, for your business, which is not gonna convert into sales. So I see a lot of people that are posting content on LinkedIn and what they're doing, I think the mistake is they're focused on getting likes and comments from anyone in, in their community, in their network versus focusing in specifically on buyers that can actually become customers. You know, the whole dopamine, you know, uh, a fix that we get from getting all kinds of likes and comments, it's real, right? And I see people posting content that is not even in any way, shape or form relevant to their target market. And so it frustrates me because these people are doing a really good job creating content. They're writing articles, they're doing videos, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're doing all the right things. They're just putting the wrong content in front of their network so that it's gonna be very hard for them to generate leads. So I hope you understand and, and know what I mean. There's two types of content. There's the type of content that generates a lot of clicks and a lot of uh, comments, right? A lot of engagement. 
but doesn't drive very many leads, if any at all. And then there's content that sometimes doesn't drive a lot of engagement, doesn't drive a lot of clicks and in, in, in likes, but then will also generate highly qualified leads. Imagine this. Imagine if you posted one piece of content per day on LinkedIn that was highly relevant to your target market, okay? You built a network of, your tar of people that are in your target market. You're posting content that's highly relevant to them. Imagine if you could get to the point where one post a day generated you one lead a day, just one decent lead a day. That would be about 20 new leads a month where your cost is next to zero. And if you could convert just a small percentage of those 20, let's say you converted 10% of those into some sort of sales or customers, even a small shipper, right? Doing one load a week at a couple hundred dollars in profit per load, you're talking each one of those is worth over $10,000 a year in profit in your pocket. So the thing here is this, that I want you to understand, don't get addicted to all the likes and the comments and all the vanity metrics, okay? Because those vanity metrics will lead you to continue to post the wrong content. The fact is, if you're posting something in the produce niche or the steel industry or in the import export, it might not get a lot of engagement. But don't get hung up on all the vanity metrics. The key is you want to use that content to draw in your target market, to build your authority, to build your credibility, and to possibly start a conversation either in that post or in a different format, whether that be some sort of a message or call or otherwise. So the thing is the mistake that, and I'll say this again, the mistake that I see is brokers and agents posting content that is not highly relevant to their target market. And they do it day after day after day. And the content sometimes is really good and it gets a lot of engagement, but guess what? It's not generating leads for your niche, specific to your niche, because it's touching on all the wrong people. You know, if you're, if you're getting engagement, if your target market is produce buyers and you're getting all of this engagement from freight brokers, you know, and, and almost all of your engagement is from freight brokers on this post because the post is highly relevant to them. Well, you didn't generate any leads. You didn't generate any sales. You didn't build any connections. You didn't build any authority. You didn't really accomplish anything other than having a bunch of information, having a bunch of clicks and likes and comments from people in the freight brokerage industry. And it gave you that dopamine fix. It gave you that vanity metrics that you're looking for. So if you take anything away from this training, take this, don't focus on vanity metrics. Don't get caught up on how many likes and comments. Everybody loves to feel that, right? What's more important is the quality of your content and the quality of the engagements with the people that do engage with it, all right? So that's one of the biggest mistakes. And I see that nine out of 10 freight brokers and freight agents are making that mistake on LinkedIn. It's a huge mistake. It's a huge time waster. Very, very rarely is it ever going to lead to any sort of a, a sale, a sales conversation, or definitely not a sale. So uh, make sure you're focusing on highly relevant content, you know, things that are talked about, discussed, challenges, problems, issues, topics that are specific to the industry you're targeting, targeting, and you will start having more conversations, more dialogue, and you'll continue to build your authority in that niche. So I hope you guys enjoy that. If you did, listen, if you're curious about becoming a freight broker or a freight agent, and you're just not quite sure where to start and you're looking for some help. Maybe you're getting a little confused because you're hearing one thing on YouTube and one thing on TikTok and one thing on LinkedIn and, and you're trying to put all this together. Check out FreightBrokerBootCamp.com. Trained over 10,000 students. I've personally done over $200 million as a freight broker. And we offer a 60-day, 100% unconditional money-back guarantee. So you can check that out at FreightBrokerBootCamp.com. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week on the next Freight Broker Bootcamp Live. All right, so for those of you that are going to stick around for the free giveaway, I'm going to give away a Freightpreneur t-shirt. 
And then I'm going to do a quick announcement. All right. So, you know, I'm going to be honest, this training might not make everybody real happy because while I didn't call out anybody specifically about um, that was doing this because I really didn't want to put anybody on the spot. I think a lot of you are going to either realize that that's a mistake you're making or you're seeing a lot of other people making that mistake. But the fact is creating content and posting content every day on LinkedIn can be time consuming. I mean, it might take you 15 to 30 minutes to an hour a day or more to create and post that content, depending upon the type of content you're creating. And so I don't want you to waste your time posting all the wrong content to attract the wrong audience, right? Just because you're getting that engagement. I want you to start posting content that's going to build your authority, right? That's going to build your credibility, that's going to attract your target market, and is going to actually start sales conversations that can lead to revenue, okay? So I see it happening all the time. I wanted to point it out. I hope you guys understand. I hope it makes sense to you. Um, and, um, I'm not doing Q and a, so please don't spam the, spam the comments with trying to get questions answered. I'm going to be doing a free giveaway here in just a minute. I can't do Q and a today. I'm not doing Q and a, so I will try to come back in later and answer questions. But for right now, we're going to do a free giveaway and then I'm going to do the announcement and then I'm out of here. So you guys are going to be able to go and focus on your LinkedIn content or whatever it is you're working on today. All right. So. Free giveaway. If you guys want a chance to win a, the Freightpreneur t-shirt, someone who solves problems you don't know you have and ways you can't understand. I've given away hundreds of these shirts over the years. They're super popular. And I'm going to give one free t-shirt away right now. You have to be in the United States to play along. Here's all you got to do to qualify. Pull out your mobile phone. I don't care if it's Apple or Android. If it's an Apple phone, right? Then if it's an iPhone, what I want you to do is I want you to pull up your podcast app. Just search for podcast or you'll pull up that purple app. And I want you to search for Freight Broker Bootcamp. If you search for that, what you're going to see is you're going to see, again, you're going to see my bald, shiny head. You're going to see the logo, right? And I want you to rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast, okay? Rate, review, subscribe. Sometimes they call it follow and then come back into the comments and let me know I rated, reviewed, subscribed on Apple, okay? Now, if you're doing that on Spotify or you're doing that on Google Podcasts or you're doing that on some other podcast app, I want you to do the exact same thing. Say you're on Android and you use Spotify to listen to music and listen to podcasts, right? The two biggest platforms where people listen to me is uh, Apple and Spotify. So if it's on Spotify, you come back in, rate, reviewed, subscribed on Spotify. I need you to make sure that you reply in the comments that way because that's the only thing that can qualify you for a chance to win the t-shirt, okay? I'm very specific about that. Don't say subscribed. Don't say um, enrolled. Don't say any of that. Um, and Brian Adams, please, dude, come on. Don't, please stop spamming the comments, okay? I appreciate it. Um, or, you know, I'm doing the giveaway right now. If you have a question, you know, you can type it after all of this and, or, um, or come back next week. Okay. Or if you're a part of Freight Broker Bootcamp, if you're already a paid member of Freight Broker Bootcamp, just send a message to support at freightbrokerbootcamp.com. And we'll definitely try to answer your question as quickly as we can. Typically we're able to respond same day or within 24 to 48 business hours. Okay. So, and we still have people typing questions. All right. Even though we're not doing questions. All right. So go in. And if you guys want a chance to win a free t-shirt, here's all you got to do. Pull out your smartphone, uh, rate, review, and subscribe to the Freight Burger Bootcamp podcast. Come back into the comments. Let me know you rate, reviewed, and subscribed on Apple or on Spotify or wherever. And that's going to qualify you. If only 10 people do this, you got a one out of 10 chance. That's a pretty good odds. Right. So right now we've got one. <laughs> we've got one person. Connor is the only one that's done that um, so far. And remember, you do have to be in the United States because I don't ship these overseas. Okay. All right. Jessica did it. So we got a few people that are, that are trying to get the free t-shirt. Hang around because after this giveaway, I got a special announcement. I think some of you guys are going to enjoy and appreciate. Um, it's been something that's been discussed and in the mix for quite a while. All right. What do we got? 
Who else? So just so you guys know, the uh, Freight Broker Bootcamp podcast is the best of the best audio only training that I've ever done in the last decade. So you can go there and you can listen to, geez, what is it now? I think it's a hundred. Let's see. Hold on. It's a lot. It's like, uh, I don't know, over a hundred, well over a hundred free trainings. Let's see. A hundred. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's like a, well over a hundred free trainings. They're all audio. You want, I listen to them when I'm driving, when I'm on the treadmill, when I'm walking my dog, it's, it's, it's a great way to consume the information. Sometimes video is not really ideal, right? Depending upon where you're at, especially if you're driving, if you're a truck driver or you're in a truck or you're driving your vehicle or you do a lot of, again, working out. That's my favorite time to listen to podcasts. I don't listen to my podcast, but I listen to other podcasts but that's a great opportunity. They're typically short trainings. They're anywhere from maybe three minutes to maybe 15 minutes, depending upon. And we've been ranked in the top 100 out of all freight broker uh, podcasts, or out of all entrepreneur podcasts. All entrepreneur podcasts, we've been ranked in the top 100 by Apple. Just so you know, there are tens of thousands of entrepreneur podcasts out there, okay? And we've been ranked in the top 100 out of all of those, right? And that's because of you guys, because you've enjoyed it, You've rated, reviewed, subscribed, and listened to the podcast. So thank you all very much for that. All right, we got a bunch of people. All right, we got a bunch of people. So 30 seconds, people can finish up. And then we're going to do the giveaway. And then we're going to do the special announcement. And uh, Brian, whoever else, beyond Spotify and Apple, you can check any podcast app. And in most cases, the Freight Burger Bootcamp will, podcast will be on there. Okay. Um, check any podcast app that you use and you'll be able to do it. By the way, um, Apple Podcasts and Spotify are both free. They don't cost you anything. Now, there are paid subscriptions to some of them if you want, but you can get access to virtually any podcast for free if you have either one of those, okay? All right. All right, here. So I'm going to randomly pick one winner. Uh, let's see. Where does it start? Okay, cool. Here we go. All right, ready. I'm going to close my eyes, point to one winner, and that's going to be the lucky winner. And the lucky winner is Maria Dana Santos. Maria. <laughs> Maria, congratulations. Rated, reviewed, and subscribed on Spotify. Congratulations, Maria. Uh, here's all you got to do, Maria, to get the Freightpreneur t-shirt. Either go to my LinkedIn and message me your full name, your mailing address, your size, and that you won the podcast subscribe t-shirt giveaway. Or you can do that on Facebook through my Freight Burger Bootcamp Facebook page, like the page, and then message me the same thing, your full name, your mailing address, um, your size. It's unisex sizing, small, medium, large, okay? And then, um, and then uh, let me know that you won the podcast t-shirt uh, subscribe giveaway, and I'll ship that off to you. You usually get it within a couple of weeks. Send that off to me today. I'll make sure we process, process that this week. Congratulations, Maria. Thank you so much uh, for joining and for listening to the podcast and for rating and reviewing and subscribing. Everybody, thank you for playing along. Again, if you guys do have questions, feel free to type them. I'm not going to answer them today. I will try to come back into the comments later and answer them in the next couple of days. But here's the big announcement. All right. So here's the big announcement. I have, hold on, let me pull this up here really quick. Let me create this. Hold on. Okay. I have, all right, so over the last several years, I've given away hundreds of these t-shirts, all right? Hundreds of these t-shirts, all right? So Freightpreneur, right? Someone who solves problems you don't know you have in ways you can't understand. And I've been asked hundreds of times to sell these t-shirts. Where can I buy these t-shirts? Where can I buy them? Set up a store. Why aren't you selling them? Please sell me one. Please send me one. Okay. So what I decided to do was give you guys the ability to order the t-shirt. Now, it's not free. I can't give them out to thousands of people for free. It would cost me an arm and a leg. 
Um, but I have the opportunity where you guys can get access to a storefront where you can start getting some of the freightpreneur swag. I call it swag, right? So I've kept the prices as low as I could, um, you know, within reason to try to make sure you guys could all afford it. So if you check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com slash swag, it'll bring you to a storefront where you can order your own Freightpreneur t-shirt. Now, they're very affordable, right? Uh, you can also, as a part of that, it also has a sweatshirt option. Now, we had to make a couple of adjustments, but yeah, we do have a premium pullover hoodie, and we also have the classic Freightpreneur t-shirt. So you guys can check that out at freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash swag. That's something that's going to stay up. Here's the cool part. Um, that whole store is done through Teesprings, which is a really well-established, very credible um, t-shirt, you know, print on demand service. So they manage all of that. So you'll get an order number. You'll be able to interface with them on your order for tracking and any sort of issues or questions you have. Please don't send those questions to me because I won't have any idea what the answer is because I don't even see the orders as they come in. All right. So you will, um, but I vetted the company. Teesprings is very, very credible. They've got, I've, I ordered a bunch of their different product. Uh, this is an example of one of their shirts, okay? This is an actual sample of one of their shirts. This is the actual Freightpreneur t-shirt that you would get, size, layout, everything. Um, currently, they only come in black, but you guys can check that out at freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash swag. If you guys want to order them, great. From now on, if there's ever any questions, that's where I'm going to direct people. Again, this is not a big money maker. Any money that does come from this. I will reinvest back into the platform. It's not like it's going to make me rich and go into my pocket. I'm not trying to sell hundreds of thousands of t-shirts, but people ask all the time. So I wanted to make it available. My wife, it actually was my wife that yelled at me and told me to make sure that I did this because if people were asking for it, I had to give it. And I mean, people have been asking for this for years, ever since I've been giving them away, but I just didn't get off my butt. To be honest with you, I don't feel like I'm in the t-shirt business, but now that I found this partner, Teesprings, and they can fulfill everything and deal with it, I'm all good. So if you guys want to get a chance to, or if you guys, now you don't have to wait to win. You can actually just order some swag. I will still be giving, doing some free giveaways, of course. And uh, Maria, congratulations for winning the t-shirt today. I will get that out to you once I get your information. Appreciate you guys being here today, tuning in. I hope that training made sense. It was a little bit disjointed, and sometimes it's a little hard for you to understand if you're not already posting content on LinkedIn or you're not already using LinkedIn, I can tell you this. LinkedIn is, in my opinion, the most powerful B2B sales and marketing tool out there. And what I mean B2B is a business selling to a business. All right. Um, if, you, if you're a freight broker or a freight agent, you're looking to get shippers, LinkedIn is the place to be. There, are, I've done a lot of different trainings on how to use LinkedIn to generate leads and sales. This is a mistake that I see a lot of people making and I shared with you how to correct it. Make sure you're posting highly relevant content to your target market. If you're not, don't expect any leads or sales to come from that. You know, don't get addicted to the vanity metrics that you might get by posting content to other, you know, to other target markets that really aren't going to generate you leads. So I hope that makes sense. I want you guys to have an awesome day. Sorry, I can't stick around for uh, the live Q and a today, I will make sure I do it next week. If you guys have questions, type them in the comments. I will try to come back in here this week and reply to them. Uh, if, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome week. We'll see you next Monday on another Freightburger Bootcamp Live. Thanks all.